But as far as the Toronto deal, yes. As a matter of fact, Cashman and Joe Torrey were so awesome to me in 98. They knew I was a young guy. Uh, I'd had some success at the plate. So they was like, man, you probably we'll probably get somewhere where you can play. Because, you know, everybody knew it wasn't going to happen there. Well, uh, Cashman, you know, I think uh, I want to say I was in Tampa training a couple weeks prior. You know, hey, you know, it had already been publicized that it was going to be uh, – it was getting close. Roger wanted to come to New York and the Yankees wanted him. And the, I was actually the piece they wanted um, because they wanted a second baseman that could step in and fill, fill the void for Rob, you know, um, you know, that Robbie, the void Robbie had left. So uh, I did know, uh, but there again, when you're moving millions of dollars, Hall of Fame type players. And, you know, David Wells was no slouch. You know, he performed well for us in 98. And so, um, you know, it was, I, I think it took me a while to, uh, to do the deal, but I was, I did know that Gordash was a fan of, a big fan of mine and he wanted me in Toronto. Right. You had a good year that year. To, you know, to, I mean, to, so you go to New York and then you thought you were going to be the second baseman that they bring in now black. Now you're going to Toronto replacing you know, future Hall of Famer and Al Alomar. And you had, a, like you said, you had your 32 bags that you stole, right? You <laughs> hit, uh, over 300. So there you go. So, but I mean, so, you know, when now that you got the opportunity, take us through how that, that must have felt great to here you are in the major leagues and you're finally getting the, the uh, bass that you, uh, you had hoped. Yes. As a matter of fact, um, I, I definitely used that carpet to my advantage. Uh, especially that old school, you know, yeah, concrete right. slab, right? And so it was literally like, get myself something um, I can get on the ground. And, you know, it's a uh, totally different mindset, you know, than today's game, but uh, that helped me out a lot. Um, and so uh, the cool thing about um, that experience was that I had a ton of young guys around me that were still trying to figure this thing out themselves. Now, you did have guys like Delgado, Sean Green, that was a bit more advanced. But for the most part, you know, it was myself, uh, Shannon Stewart, um, Jose Cruz Jr. I mean, we were Alex Gonzalez. I mean, we were really yeah. just trying to find our way. And that was awesome. Uh, but as you can imagine, being that high, high uh, spot with the Yankees and winning the World Series and having all those mm -hmm. veteran knowledge around me. Um, it was tough to lose that, you know, and that was, kind of, I guess that was my crutch for a while, but for some reason, uh, I think the first half I hit like 280 and then the second half I hit like 340 and wow. it just got comfortable. Um, and, and I, one thing I can say, and I talk about it, uh, a lot with, uh, hitting guys, people think you make a living on the fastball, man, that's crazy. Like I was a... <laughs> Uh, seven, eight, nine hole guy, and man, I got more sliders and change ups than the four hole hitter did, or just as many. So, man, I'm, I promise you, I learned how to hit the off speed that year. Uh, I mean, like as if like, man, this is what you need to do if you're going to survive at the at the major league level. Mm 